left of this uh, perfection soap super blue I'm gonna give it a second try it's gonna be on the same video so hopefully you guys continue watching this to the end I'm gonna do a quick wash and then I don't know maybe I'll change my mind on this product I'm gonna finish up what I have left I had left about an ounce so I'm gonna just add that to it I'm gonna wash it real quick and then we'll see Go ahead, what do you think of that pearl uh, nano soap? Honestly, I like washed the Corvette. Do you like it? Honestly, washing with it, it's not too bad. It's nothing too exceptional towards the soap, I guess. It gets the job done. Do you, I mean, is it? I mean, it's. I feel. Looking, huh? I feel like this is a good soap for if your car is lightly dirty. Yeah, so if you don't have too much on it. Cause I know, cause I have a different opinion. You know, everyone has a different opinion. I personally didn't care for the soap, and that's why I figured have you try it. And then tell everybody what you think, I guess. You know, so. Yeah, this works good, I feel like, for what we're doing here. And it's a light surface dirt, I guess you could say. Yeah. Nothing too much. And we're washing in the sun. It's not. It's only 50 out. The paint's not hot. you got to remember that. If you're going to wash in the sun, just make sure your paint is not hot. You know, it's not boiling. You know, it's, it's the sun's out. The paint's not hot, so we're safe to wash it. And you just want to keep wetting it down. And to permit getting water spots as you're washing the vehicle, keep wetting the whole vehicle down and then dry it. So that's it. That's our, my thoughts. You know, I'm just, you know, everyone has a different opinion on products. I didn't care for the soap. The kid doesn't mind it. So I'm sure I'll probably purchase it again. That's our opinion. So hope you guys uh, find this video helpful. And that's going to be it on the Pearl Nano Soap that we got from the sa sample pack. I mean, it washed it pretty good. Our protection, we don't have no protection. It ran out. Look at that. It's gone. But uh, continue because we are going to be applying a product right after we wash this one. Hey, let me grab it. I'll give you guys a little teaser. Look at that. No protection. Well, I put the jet seal on it in, I think, end of July, August. So we got about 10 months out of it, which is good. No, take that back. About nine months out of it, which is pretty good. I mean, where's that at? And next, we're going to be applying this. Nine months with jet seal on it. You can see the back of my fence. And this truck's never been polished for like a paint correction since ever. And the reason being was we just wanted to keep uh, the clear coat, the mills as thick, thick as possible to keep the truck looking good. But this summer, where I am going to do a, a polish, get some of these uh, swirl marks and little light scratches out. But uh, got to keep that clear coat mills up to uh just keep the vehicle looking you know so you don't lose your paint i guess but especially for an everyday vehicle you don't need to worry about having that deep you know shine on everything you know you just want to protect it make it last so you can continue to drive it enjoy it you know, make the kid wash the truck i'll just play with the holes <laughs> man i'll give it a decent gloss I mean, that, this vehicle has been walked since last year, before winter, well, and the summer with jet seal. Still got some water spots, but we're going to be doing something. Look at that shine on it. Not bad. So, this soap's not bad. Really cleaned it up pretty good. Sure did. I had to pile all this footage together. I made a, over one soap. <laughs> I wanted to give this soap a chance.